the million dollar question. Are prices going to crash? Well, I'm going to let you make that decision after sharing some fantastic data uh, you know, that I have kind of put together that is great for my business, my clients, uh, you know, all the agents that work with us, looking back at a five year in review of the real estate market, 2017 to 2021. So what is the five year historical, you know, sales, you know, homes that I've sold, listings, however you, whatever you want to call it. In 2017, we had over 92,000 homes sell as per the Toronto MLS. However, in 2021, we've had a much higher number at 122,000 homes that have sold. Even though the big question is inventory is low and lower than ever. And why is that? We'll get to that. Months of inventory on the market. What does that mean? So when I started off my real estate career, um, I was reading this term and I was like, you know, how do, like, how do I understand it? And uh, I was reading one of the articles in Economic Times that taught me that months of inventory means if there is more than five to six months inventory on the market, it is considered a buyer's market. Anything below that is considered a strong seller's market. 2017, 2.7 months inventory, 2018, three months inventory, and in 2021, 15 days on the market. So in the last five years, it has been a very strong seller's market. Looking at data of average prices in 2017, we were just above 800,000 in 2021. We're at 1.1 million. So you do see that steady incline, even though there was a big uh, conversation in the 2017 market where it is a bubble, it should crash soon. But why is that not happening? Again, we'll get to that. In 2021, the sales comparison for the first two quarters of the year, um, which I saw reflect in our business as well, where we did majority of our transactions because a lot of people in 2020 were a bit skeptical because of COVID, not sure whether they want to move, put their homes on the market. But in Jan 2021, which was actually uh, one of our best months, um, we saw a lot of confidence in the market and people were putting their homes up and uh, uh, moving. The entire year in review. So all the way from January to December, we see that months of inventory on the market has been one month or less. Uh, days on the market have been, you know, depending on which market you were in, um, you know, less than, you know, two weeks over here in Milton and our surrounding areas. It has definitely been, been less than that for majority of our properties. So this kind of gives you an overview that if you're going to have your home up on the market, it will sell, not likely sell, it will sell. However, price and presentation are extremely essential. So what these numbers actually tell me is the fact that we have a really, really low supply and a very high demand. So even if the interest rates increase, as opposed to us having 10, 15 buyers for one property, this year I had over 30 offers on one of our properties as well. However, that being said, the amount of buyers from 15 will become five or from 10 will become five, but there will be more interest within a property if it's priced and presented well. Uh, I hope you found this useful and uh, I will share it in a PDF with you as well. If you have any questions about the real estate market, we're just getting started with the spring market for 2022, feel free to reach out. Uh, we have a bunch of new marketing ideas uh, that we're working with. We're always looking at ways uh, that we can better showcase our homes. So feel free to reach out to us. Talk soon.